Okay, we've reached the third version of uh, the leg and glute workout today. So the third version is with weights, all right? So you can go heavy, you can go light, you can go tins, water bottles, whatever you want to use. I've got a combination of weights here that just come to 5K in each hand, so 10K. Exercise number one will be one squat into one deadlift. So feet a little bit wider than your hips. We move back a little bit. A little bit wider than your hips. Weights in the hand. Okay, it's gonna look like this. One squat, one deadlift. Okay, so keep the back nice and straight and the tummy in. We're gonna do 12 of those. I'm gonna go on a slight angle so you can see. Okay, let's go. Keep the chest up. Keep the tummies in. Two. Good. Three. Push the feet into the floor. Four. Remember, bend the knees slightly if your hamstrings are a little tight. Six. Seven. Eleven, one more. And twelve. Okay. Going down onto the floor for glute bridge. Now you can use the weights here. I'm just going to use these two. Put them in a cross position over your tummy and place the hands on there. Again, heels need to be underneath the knees and you're gonna lift up, extension, and down, okay? So lift, out, in, and down. Let's go 12 on each side. One, two, So you still got a leg extension, even though the weight is not emphasized on there. It's emphasized in the glutes. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. What you could do here is combine the banded workout with this, pop the band around the heels, and then as you lift, you'll feel tension in your quad as well. Okay, other side. 12, 11, 11. Really drive that heel into the floor. So you're in the bridge to extend the leg. Two, one. Okay, second one down here. Inner and outer. So abduction. So we're going to use on the side of the glutes. Lift up into the bridge. Okay, bring it in and out. Don't let the inside of the feet peel up as you push the legs out. Five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, come back up. Single leg deadlift to feel the hamstring and the glute working, either both weights or one weight. Again, keep the big toe on the floor if you need contact uh, for balance help, okay? So you come down. 12, 11. Feel that in the hamstring, the calf, the glutes, depending on how far you are coming down. Remember to bend the knee if the hamstrings are tight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, change sides. So I'm just keeping the big toe on the floor. Abs are in tight, so there's no weight in that back leg. It's all in the front. Keep the tummies in, heads up. Five more. Four. Three, two, and one. Okay, side leg lift, using the weight. It's gonna bring the chair back in. You don't have to use the chair, you can use the wall. Hold the weight at um, arm length so it's not restricting your hip movement. So 12, 11. And let it touch the floor. You can do this in any combinations of lifts. So you can go up for two, down for two, five, four, three, two, and one. Change sides. Twelve. Don't let it touch the floor. Keep the navel drawn in nice and tight. I'm just going to show you using the wall. exercise sumo squat into a deadlift so the feet are going to be wide toes turned out so make sure when you squat that the knees are going out to the side and not forward okay so you're going to come down straighten and up through the deadlift take a look this way you come down straighten and up through the deadlift, okay. Last exercise, let's go. One. Two. Keep the head up, back straight, drawing the navel, three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more. 
12. There you go. So that's your weighted version of the legs and glutes. Again, you can combine that with the band, so you can do all those exercises whilst wearing the band. 12 of each, and try to do at least two sets, three sets if you can, four sets if you want. Thank you, see you guys, stay safe.